I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is you're about to see the first in the finishing of the smoke rib videos. The bad news is the beginning portion of that video that I shot a few days ago, yeah, I thought I copied it to my computer, but I didn't. And then I deleted it from my video, well, from the camera card. So here's a little backstory on how the ribs got started. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. This is Dash, and today, well, not actually. This is a recreation of how the intro or the beginning of the this video should have started. We're gonna be talking about how to finish ribs. So the, the whole point behind this was for me to, to smoke some ribs for a few hours and then freeze them. So basically I had that beginning part done and then I could finish them whatever, you know, almost like a meal prep, but they were, halfway a third of the way done so that I could finish them however I needed to finish them uh, so again the ribs were going to be finished via CV via pressure cooker and via the um, slow cooker okay so this video is going to be me using a sous vide so what I did was I put the the ribs I double bagged the ribs and I put them in my sous vide at 150 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours and then I said, I told you guys I would come back in 24 hours and we would pick up where I left off and here we go. All right, so we're back at it and this is the second day. So I'm getting ready to pull the ribs out of the uh, sous vide, okay? They feel really tender. Just uh, pulling them out. All right, so I double bagged these uh, just to make sure that I wouldn't have any problems or in hopes that I wouldn't have any problems. So uh, I can tell you through the bag, they smell amazing. Got a little casualty already, it's falling apart. Okay, so now at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the ribs outside and I'm going to uh, use my torch, the propane torch. I'm gonna sear them, put a little sauce on them, and then I'm gonna sear them again. So let's go.
Okay, so uh, as you see, I have my ribs in the house. I have my cutting board here. Let's get these bad boys up. And on the cutting board. Okay, so the, the easiest way to slice ribs is if you take the, the shallow bone end versus the, uh, this is like the spine end where the majority of the bones come together. And what you're gonna do is you can kind of look and feel how the ribs run, but the ribs are gonna, you're gonna slice them at an angle. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna fill in between these bones and we're gonna come right down in between. Okay, you saw how I took my knife to the bone edge and then I came back because of the curvature of the bone. So again, let me show you. We're gonna fill for the bones and go right in between. Come on down and then follow the curvature of the bone, right in between. Now, let's take a look at these. There's a decent smoke ring there, okay? And uh, they feel absolutely amazing, very tender. I'm gonna slice the small bones side. And everything is starting to fall apart here. Very, very tender. pretty ridiculous all right I'm gonna take a picture for the gram tell me what you think can you turn this way please tell me what you think would you like them prepared that way again yes all right what do you think little boy you can't even talk. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, pepper and massage. I like the seasoning. I like it. Okay, what about you? What do you think? I think it's really good. You do? I think it's too saucy. Too saucy for you? Okay. I'm too saucy for you. All right. Well, thank you. As you saw, there was my uh, review from my family. Now, I don't know if I told you guys this before or not, but I actually don't eat pork any longer. I know, I know, uh, relax. Uh, it's mainly for health reasons, I don't eat pork anymore, but I still cook the mess out of it, and my family enjoys it, so I cook it for more or less for them. But you guys saw my family's reaction, uh, my, my children. My wife didn't want to be on camera, but she did let me know uh, about how she felt about the ribs. She said that the ribs were uh, definitely had great flavor. They were very, very tender. The problem that she had is that when you cook things via sous vide, they're not at that burn your mouth temperature. They're at more of a lukewarm temperature. And that is her problem when almost any time I cook anything with via sous vide. Um, and even though I cooked them via sous vide and then you guys saw me sear them, um, in between cutting them up, letting the kids eat, letting my wife eat, and other things like that, it the temperature dropped a little bit, and it she just didn't. She wanted them hotter. Like she's definitely one of these people who wants to burn her mouth on her food. I personally am not, so I'm cool with the uh, the food coming out of the sous vide in that lukewarm. Just not. I don't need to burn my mouth. Like I'll get coffee and let it cool before I drink it type person. I don't need to, I, I, anyway. Um, 
this method of cooking the ribs, you know, again, this whole process is how to more or less do a meal prep and have something that's gonna take a long while, almost ready to cook. And that's why I'm trying to try these few different methods of finishing the ribs, more or less, to see what the best way is. So again, if I'm already, if I already have the smoker going and if I already have some ribs available, or if I know I'm gonna be cooking and I have some ribs that I can put in the smoker because I have room, I can throw some ribs in the smoker, let them cook for a few hours, and then I can finish them. And this method of finishing was a sous vide. The next method of finishing them will be either in the slow cooker or the pressure cooker, depending on which method I do next. So this method, method was very easy to do. Um, it was a lot of hands off. The, the most tedious thing to do at this point was probably, or you know, for this method of, of finishing the ribs, was simply using a torch, which isn't that big of a deal. The torch actually can be found from, I got that from Harbor Freight. It's a, considered a weed burner torch. If you learned something today with this video or you liked what you saw, please do me a solid and leave me a thumbs up down below. Leave me a question or a comment down below in the comment section. And uh, thanks again, as always. For